Today we're learning how to crochet the picot single crochet. To begin, chain in multiples of 2 plus 1. Let's move on to row 1, shall we? To begin, chain 1. So yarn over and pull through that loop on your hook. Perfect. Now crochet single crochet in that second chain from your hook. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Now crochet another single crochet into that next stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Perfect. So you want to continue crocheting one single crochet into every stitch all the way across to reach the end of the row. Once you reach the end of row 1, it's time to move on to row 2. To begin you want to chain 1, so yarn over and pull through that loop on your hook. Then turn your work so you're crocheting in the opposite direction. Now crochet single crochet in that first stitch, so the same stitch that the chain 1 is in. Now in that next stitch you'll want to crochet a picot single crochet. So to begin insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through that first loop, two loops left on your hook, yarn over, pull through that first loop again, two loops left on your hook, yarn over, and pull through that first loop once again. Two loops left on your hook. Now yarn over and pull through both loops. This completes your picot single crochet. Perfect! Now be sure to push that picot to the back of your work. Then crochet one single crochet in that next stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, Two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Perfect! So continue crocheting one picot single crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet into the following stitch all the way across till you reach the end of this row. Once you reach the end of row 2, time to move on to row 3. To begin, chain 1. Then turn your work so you're crocheting in the opposite direction. Now crochet single crochet in that first stitch. So remember the same stitch that the chain 1 is in. Perfect! Now crochet a single crochet in the next stitch as well. But here's a little tip for you. Push the picot single crochet towards the front. This will help you see the top of the stitch that you need to work into. So insert your hook. Yarn over, pull back through, two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. Perfect! Now you'll want to continue crocheting one single crochet into every stitch all the way across to reach the end of this row. Once you reach the end of this row, it's time to move on to row 4. So to begin, chain 1. Then turn your work so you're crocheting in the other direction. Now crochet one single crochet in that first stitch. Remember the same one that the chain one is in. Then crochet single crochet into the following stitch as well. Perfect! Now crochet a picot single crochet in the next stitch. So remember you want to insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, two loops left on your hook, yarn over, pull through that first loop on your hook, so that's two loops left on your hook, then yarn over, pull through that first loop on your hook, two loops left on your hook, then yarn over and pull through that first loop on your hook. Two loops left on your hook, then yarn over and pull through both of those loops at the same time. This will complete your picot single crochet. Perfect! Remember push that picot to the back of your work, 
then crochet a single crochet in that next stitch so insert your hook yarn over pull back through two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through both of those loops perfect so continue crocheting one picot single crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the following stitch all the way across to reach the end of the row once you reach the end of this row crochet a single crochet in that last stitch perfect now time to move on to row five to begin chain one then turn your work so you're crocheting in the opposite direction crochet a single crochet in that first stitch so the same stitch that the chain one is in then crochet a single crochet in the next stitch as well remember to pull that picot forwards helping you see the top of that stitch perfect so continue crocheting one single crochet into every stitch all the way across to reach the end of row five once you've completed row five this is how your design should look continue repeating rows two to five until you reach a desired length this is how the picot single crochet starts to look after you've repeated rows two three four and five multiple times as you can already see, the cute little picots pop up all over the design. One of the many reasons I actually love this stitch is that it is a fairly simple stitch to learn, yet it still creates an adorable and uniquely textured design. Another perk about this stitch is that the back of the work remains nice and neat, which works perfectly when crocheting scarves and bobalicious blankets. Be sure to check out my blog, hopefulhoney.com, for lots of free crochet patterns. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please thumbs it up, share and subscribe.